Hey boy, the girl, the one and only. Hi five. Coming at you another Honkai Impact third related video. This time uh we're gonna be hunting after some equipment on the current banner for the Cursor of Reason Branya. Last time we managed to unlock the character, although we didn't take her past um, S rank. Uh, so this time we're going to be trying for primarily her signature weapon, the Key of Reason. Uh, it has a very potent active on it. Also, it kills damage as part of its natural just attack power, which is very potent as her sure reason is the first ice base. Really the first elemental Branya ice base, so that stacks well. Um, additionally, the stigmata available are the Welt Ying set. Um, most of it focused on increasing total damage with the T at the top. Also increasing damage when she ultimates her Hersher form. Uh, this one increasing the ice damage done. Uh, it causes them to take more damage from ice with more consecutive hits. And then the bottom, which is more of a defensive one, does increase the damage multiplier. Also gives a shield that uh, heals well. Um, the multiple set bonuses just help increase things like more ice damage and uh, damage multiplier, as well as charge attack, uh, let's say, potential, because there's your reason there's a lot with charged attacks, and having those do more damage or better effects is always... You know, it's kind of core to the kit. Uh, so with all that out of the way, I have enough here for two sets of ten draws. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. And of course, we start off with nothing too special. White Star Banisher is a decent weapon for Fuqua if you don't have anything else. Anaconda is nothing special. Some good materials coming out. But nothing really great in terms of weapons or stigmata yet. Ah, well, that's not what I was going for, but hey. Now in him. Not actually sure who that stigmata is good on, but definitely one to hold on to. Go ahead and start the second set of ten. Nothing special so far. Plus Katana is okay for a Raiden May that I don't have. More materials. More either low level or free to play. Not a bad one to get, but also have like a few copies already. And we're not getting anything special. We're getting some pretty mid-tier stuff. And then we get top for Wilt Yang, which is very... It's not... I would have rather had the Key of Reason, but Wilt Yang top is a good second. It is still an increase in damage power, even though it's not going to be as great as if I had the Key of Reason weapon. We're back. This time, coming at you live with a few new event uh, banners going on. Uh, first one being a celestial him draw. Trying to get uh, a Teresa that suit up to higher rank. We'll ignore that one for now. Uh, there's also a couple of changes in the focus. There's Skull and Haiti for the Fuhua suit that I don't have. 
and the shrine prayer, which I'm not entirely sure how to earn tickets for that draw. Um, I have a bundle from there are a few bundles available for bead chips, and I used the ones that I had left over from the last time I drew for Hershey Reason Branya. So, with this one, as we see here, uh, you can earn some crystals from this banner. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw and see if we get any good weapons or if we just get more crystals and resources. So far, we got mithril's not bad. Fine proof. So I have in a not perfect 10 numbers. I'm doing single draws just to start. Asterite, that's nice. I really could use some more asterite at the moment. Hey, gold. I'm actually fairly good on gold at the moment. Okay, so this is going to be our first draw for 10. And unlike the United Tokens, okay. Some interesting items coming out of it. But yeah, unlike the uh, expansion uh, boxes, this one only has one item per box. Ooh, 100 crystals. And another Shrine Prayer Slip. Not a bad set in this one. So it is a little bit less exciting because it's only one item per box. Stamina. Okay, now we're back down to a 10. Small patch of crystals, asterite, materials, asterite, ooh, glowing jade, I need a lot of those. Probably better doing the raid to get the glowing jade though. The one that's active right now uh, is good for farming the glowing jade. Because you can get, like, something like 60 per completion. And it occurred to me that I hadn't checked the uh, drop rates for anything in this banner, so here we see... 0.25% for 4-star equipment. That is a very low percentage chance. 10%, no, 9% chance for rare slip. Well, there's just some interesting odds as far as gambling on this. Okay, another 10. More crystals. I wonder how many crystals I'm gonna have after this. Probably not enough to do another 10 in the uh, expansion. I'm gonna get that key of reason again. And quite a few three slips. Well, that's three more chances. It also means three more single draws. Remember, you always do your singles before you do your your back. Asterite. I'm not terribly disappointed with the outcome so far. I'm getting a lot of asterite, and I'm getting a fair amount of crystals too. Even if I'm not getting any of the good weapon drops. Time for the last batch of ten.
More crystals. More crystals. Gold. Time structure. That's bad. You get for the raid. And a few imagine on items. Not bad. Not a bad outcome. It's also not the best outcome. With that, let's go ahead and just see. Let's see how many crystals we got here. 8, 25, 200. 100 crystals. Then a 50 crystal. Not too terribly much in the way of crystals, but I mean, it's better than nothing. And there's a whole bunch of gold. Okay, so with that drawing out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, come to a close with the kind of reaction and walk along section. Uh, there's a little bit more to this video, as you can probably tell by the bar at the bottom. Uh, so enjoy some footage of the recent event. Odd Drifter. I'm a little mood and I like the music in it, so sit back, enjoy some gameplay. Have a good one.